a pleasing resort, a magnificent coastline, a bit of Kaolack's nightlife and night market. This is the introduction of Kaolack. Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. In this episode, I'm taking you away from Phuket. We're going to the next province, Pang Na. I'm taking you to Kaolack Oriental Resort. This resort is only an hour located from Phuket Airport. We're gonna check out the beach, we're gonna check out the town. And I'm saying we, we're not doing this alone. We're doing this with Ilona. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We are at Kaolak Oriental Resort. I'm gonna take you for a little tour. I think this place is worth visiting if you're visiting Phuket because it's only an hour away from the airport. We had to drive about two hours to get here. Which I really like of this resort is the beach that is nearby, the pools. There's two separate pools. One is specifically adults only. I'm gonna have to lower my voice a little bit. It is a very calm, little resort. This is the adult section, the, the place where you're not allowed to have kids. There's another section I'm not really interested in showing you either, which allows children, you know, families with children. We've just checked in, we've got a few wet towels, a little welcome drink, and then we got guided to our room. We basically got to show the whole resort. It is quite big actually. Um, with including these two swimming pools, it's got a bar, a restaurant. We're gonna have a free breakfast as well. Breakfast is included. The price, decent price, gems. We pay about fourteen fifty for this room. Hey, hey, what you doing? I was about to show the room. Oh, well, come in. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> what a timing. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to get our stuff. Oh, from the motorbike. Yeah. Do you have the key? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you need to you need to get yourself in a bikini or something. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. So that gives us a little bit of time to show you the hotel room. Probably the most beautiful thing of this room, or one of them is the balcony overlooking the pool. It is also possible to get yourself a room at the pool. We don't really mind walking to the swimming pool. We do appreciate the privacy of a balcony. Obviously, some people, they love to wake up, open the door and straight away, you can have a little dip in the water. The swimming pool, it's, it doesn't look very big, but it's huge, it's got different sections as well. Enough about this accommodation, we're going for a little swim after Ilona gets back from the motorbike and then I'll take you to the night market. In the evenings there are also a few bars here and on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday there is a market which I think is worth visiting because uh, yeah, there's a lot of food. Anyway, for who wants to have a drink in the evening, it is definitely possible to have an enjoyable night. This is what a touristic night market looks like in Thailand. A lot of food, a lot of street food, nibbles, little snacks, but you also can sit down here in the beginning. There is a restaurant. What I like about Kaolak is where it's located. We are really close by two very beautiful island groups and we can book our next trip right here. We have the many, many trips in here. Okay. Welcome everybody can come to see me in Kaolak. Send me to... Uh... Awesome, we're gonna pin drop this one in this, at this market as well. And the most beautiful thing is Similan Island, Similan I Island, believe. Island, it's very, uh, very nice. We are going to Similan Island. I'm taking you there next episode. So hopefully you stick around for that. Thank you so much. Kapu Kapu Maka. Maka. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. We hear the sound of the birds. James, let's get some oriental breakfast. Uh, Omelette okay, with... Uh, uh, oh, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. wow, amazing. So we are basically just uh, checking out what is there and we've got a full on breakfast crispy bacon fried potato different juices fresh pancakes stir fry tenderloin with mushroom the salad bar some cheese we do like our olives as well we've just had a taste of the juice this is literally mixed fruit juice super healthy no sugar added this is how you want to wake up. Coffee is waiting for us at the table. 
Okay, this time. So what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what I was just saying? We have to go back. Thank you so much, Mr. Wang. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Wow, let's dig in. We've got some crispy bacon, potato, cabbage, some toast. Breakfast in a hotel in Thailand is honestly something I get really excited about. Yeah. Because I'm going to get to go on adventure in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> So we, so you've got people who wake up and don't, uh, are not hungry at all. We wake up hungry and we are normally, the first thing we do, we search for coffee and we go for breakfast. This overnight was including this breakfast and I can tell you it's got basically everything a oriental breakfast <laughs> should have. Anyway, I'm not going to bother you too much with the breakfast over here. I just can tell you if you book a night here at the Kaolak Oriental. You can expect a nice, complete buffet with also your chef that is helping you. Even if you're asking for some extra extra eggs or whatever, he's willing or he's happy to come to your table and serve it himself. Gonna finish this, have a little dip in the water in the swimming pool. Check out the beach, check out the surrounding area. We are at Nang Tong Beach. This beach is only two minutes walk away from our resort. Seriously, if you're staying at Kaolak, oriental resort there's no need to leave the resort it's got everything it's got the bars it's got the swimming pools it's got the restaurants you know for 490 they have this buffet going on in the evening coming all the way to this part of the world you might as well hit the beach a little bit and if you don't feel like driving anywhere or whatever you just walk to this beach it is not the most beautiful beach i think but it is a special beach i should mention that the sand here can be black especially when it rains this whole beach is turning into a black beach a few locals decide to come on their day off as well they're chilling in the shade behind us just enjoying the water you know just uh just a change of scenery it is beautiful rocky though i should mention this is definitely not one of those beaches that you find in phuket this is something else maybe this is not your cup of tea let's go to our next beach we are at white sand beach i already had a quick look and the sand looks nice also here you can get a massage they have a restaurant you basically can spend several hours not moving away from this beach this is nice i'm gonna have to tell you that the sand <laughs> is definitely white wider than at the other beach but it has a little bit of coral if i have to say only one thing but it is calm over here i am the loudest uh, at the moment uh, <laughs> so i better you know keep my voice down a little bit but, uh, people are just chilling here there are sun lounges and this beach is only just about 10 minutes drive away from where we are staying. If you don't want to drive a motorbike, there are taxis there for 150, maybe 200 baht, they drive you over here. This town or Kaolak itself is developed for tourism like Phuket, although Phuket is the, you know, the bustling heart of the south of Thailand, I can say. But yeah, Kaolak, I think you're going to have to put it on your bucket list because there's way more to see. Anyway, let's go back to the hotel because I think Ilona is waiting for me with two mojitos. Cow luck. This was the first episode out of a uh, few. I think we're going to be here roughly a week. So there will be uh, probably two episodes coming up from the area. We're also going to do an island trip. Similar islands? Similar islands. Uh, Closing it's, soon, so... It's open uh, from October to May and we are now in May and uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Um, we're gonna have to explore it before they're closing it down to i think they, they recover the national park anyway i'm uh, rambling on we are drinking our mojitos here to all the champs i hope you enjoyed the beaches the food this amazing resort big shout out to the staff here i would like to say from kaulak in the south of thailand just an hour away from phuket airport bye for now and stay, stay champ, champ.